Campus Faculty Association. Um, our president, Kathy Oberdeck, is teaching right now, so she couldn't be here, but she'll be here as soon as her class is over. Um, we're here to rally in support of the rights of the working people of Wisconsin. Yeah! And the rights of the working people right here in central Illinois. Wisconsin. They're willing to make concessions on uh, on pay, on, on uh, benefits. They're not willing to give up their collective bargaining rights. That's right. 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 Walker says it's time to weaken unions. Ooh. Well, let me ask you, do you feel weak? No! Do the people in the democracy movements around the world in Tunisia Egypt and Libya and Bahrain and Iran and China feel weak? No! So we don't let them weaken our union rights? No! No way! We've got a number of speakers today who are going to talk a little bit about what's going on in Wisconsin and who are going to talk about how it's related to what's going on here. Um, and then we're going to have a little walk over to the Y where the Graduate Employees Organization is going to be holding a vigil over the next few days until the Wisconsin situation is, is resolved. So, I don't know if we've got the thing working yet. If not, we'll keep on yelling. Um, our first speaker today is Aaron Ammons. No, no, no. Oh. stands for building service worker. We are the ones that shovel the snow, clean the buildings, clean the offices. Yeah. Yeah. The FSWs are the food service workers, the ones who are making sure that the students and faculty are fed, the facilities are clean in different areas, and they do an outstanding job as well. Yeah. And we also represent the mail carriers to make sure that you get the information that you need on time. And those are the people that we represent in SEIU. So, um, so, of course, we are in the middle of negotiations here, but I think the most important piece is that this, what we're seeing in Egypt, and my brother told me that with the new slogan, one more slogan, from Cairo to Wisco, you say power to the people. From Cairo to Wisco, power to the people. From Cairo to Wisco, power to the people. From Cairo to Wisco, power to the people. Alright, so we have a global connection. So I don't usually read off paper, but I gotta say this clearly. A global connection with the seeds of revolution sprouting in Egypt and the vines that spread to Wisconsin that are now taking hold all, all over the globe. Our stance here today forces the record to reflect our support for union workers and common people everywhere. The days of being pushed around by greedy, power-hungry rich folks and sell-out politicians is over. Now I want you to think, not long and hard, but short and smart about the power of your vote and how it will impact your future. Politicians who have been bought out by corporate interests will sell you down the river and sleep good at night because they are looking out for themselves and their ideology. It is not an ideology that supports a government of, for, and by the people. Although we can't go back in time, we have seen where presidents and other hired hands have been forced to resign and step down from the demands of the people. One of the things that we must do is be ever vigilant and never waste any opportunity to speak loud and clear with our votes, locally and nationally. For instance, the mayor of Champaign shares the views of the governor of Wisconsin. The push toward privatization and squeezing union members is par for the course for them. But guess what? 
April 5th, in the city of Champaign, you have a golden opportunity to make sure that his views no longer even have the chance to become policies. I said don't even have the chance to become policies. So on April 5th, vote your interest and vote for the interests of the people. Lastly, SEIU, which I'm a, a union steward and chief steward and member of the negotiating uh, party uh, for SEIU. We are in the middle of our negotiations with the university. And as we speak, the university continues to play hardball and refuse to give the workers what we deserve. They paid hundreds, say it loud, boo! boo! They paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to look for, lobby, and secure a new president. From beautifying the home with rugs and a new roof <laughs> to newly upholstered furniture at the tune of thousands, I'm talking 50, 60, hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? To paying his position an extra $220,000 a year plus $45,000 a year bonus to retain him. With that amount of money, you could have given 300 BSWs a two to two and a half percent raise, which we really, really need, because we haven't had one in several years. Right. Instead of giving it to one hired hand, you could have gave it to 300 public workers. Yes. Right. So brothers and sisters, we must stay united and focused. We cannot now or ever allow the divide between those who have and who have not to become wider. We must take our stand now and never, ever, ever give up. Right.